dude, that was, that, that was a crazy ride home, man. Oh, yeah, in the back of that truck. I'm so glad to be out of the back of that truck. I'm never riding in the back of a truck again. My stomach is still sick. <laughs> Blue, you really did get sick riding in that truck. Come on, man. Let's get these boxes out to the out to the sparrows and everything and get our go-karts fixed up. All right, cool. Good idea, man. These sparrows, sparrows, sparrows. Here they are, man. Four boxes, four carburetors. Yeah. Put them on our go-karts. Please make them go real fast, man. Make them go real fast. How was your trip, guys? Uh, these guys that we got these things from were pretty weird, man. They were pretty scary dudes. Uh, I don't really know them. I just know them from a friend of a friend of a friend said that, well, they like to sell parts. Well, here, here they are, man. Sweet. Awesome. All right. You guys should go check out the skate park and see what we've done while you were gone down to Louisville, Kentucky. Is it cool? Yeah, but check out Blue's bike first. Whoa, Blue. Look at your bike, man. Yeah, I like this bike. It's got chrome. Wow. Man, I am going to be the grind master with this. Look. I even have chrome pegs. I've never seen chrome pegs. This is amazing. Sparrows, you guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job for you, man. I hope you like it. Okay, well, you guys go down and check it out, and we're going to get these go-karts ready to go, man. They're going to be banging once we get some big, big carbonators on there. Cool. All right, come on, guys. Head out. Let's get our bikes. Get your scooter. Yeah. I got it. Cool, Smalls. All right, man, I got my board, too. You know what? I'm not going to ride my board today. I'm going to ride my bike. Cool, Adi. I like that idea. Hope, you got your bike. Let's go, man. Whoa, look at this place. Look how much they've done. They have done stuff everywhere. Look at how smooth in these bowls and these gaps. Look at these things over here, man. Dude, I see like three hips I can do really quick. Oh, this is awesome, man. Look at the box in the middle. Blue, this is cool. Look, they have put in more grind rails and more areas to be grind on. They've already got it waxed. Look how cool it is. I'm going to go grind, guys. Have fun, man. Okay, go for, go grind, Blue. That's cool. Dude, this is awesome, man. Look at this place. This is so cool. This is amazing, man. It is too, man. You know, look at that. Oh, Blue's already over there grinding on his new bike, man. That's amazing. Yeah, dude, look at, check it out. It's so cool in here. Let's ride around, see what we can get into. Come on, man, I want to go hit that hip right over there. Watch me. Here I go. Dude, this is an awesome hip. What do you think, Blue? These grinding wheels are pretty cool over here, man. You guys should come on over and check them out. They're amazing. Yeah. Hey, old Melanie Smalls. What? Uh, the, the engineer sparrow needs to see you up there, man. Something about these carbonators. Okay, man. We're coming up. Let's go check it out and see what he's got, man. Maybe he's already got them on. What's up, dude? Uh, did you guys look inside the boxes when you left? Before you left? No, man. We just, we, we was, I'm telling you, it was a freaky place. We came to the hundred bucks. They gave us the carbonators and we were out of there. Um, well, I hate to tell you this, but there aren't carbonators in the boxes. What do you mean? They're just rocks. What? What? Dude, we've been scammed, man. We've been scammed. I told you those birds weren't right. I knew they weren't. I could tell the minute they started talking that there was something wrong with those birds. Them birds are scammers, man. They're crooks. They're thieves. They took our hundred dollars and just gave us a bunch of bucks of rocks. I'm a man. You know what? For ten cents, I fly back down there. And I give them birds a piece of my mind, man. And, then, and I'm gonna take these bucks of rocks and I'm just gonna throw them at them. Dude, it's not worth it, man. If these, if these birds are these kinds of crooks and scammers, who knows what they're capable of doing, you know? Oh, man. 
Now we're not going to get to ride our go-karts with the cool carbonators on them. Well, we'll just have to find somewhere else to get them at. Maybe we can find a place to get them that's not going to, well, you know, do that to us. Hey, guys, I got an idea. What, Smalls? Let's all just take the boxes. Yeah, let's make a YouTube video and let's talk about these guys down there. We know we know their address and everything. We know where they're at in Kentucky. Oh, that's right, man. Dude, the bird community. Oh, yeah. We got a big one, too, man. Yeah, they will find those dudes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Let's do it. Okay, let's get everything set. Let's put these boxes over here on the table. All right, who's going to talk the most? Uh, I will. Yeah, hope you do it. You're the oldest. Okay, got the camera over there. All right, let's make this video quick. Let's get this up and running, man. Okay, three, two, one. You're on, Hope. Hi, this is Hope. Hope's Holly and Smalls and Blue. Recently, we had made arrangements to purchase carburetors from some sparrows in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, it was said that these sparrows sold parts and that they were reliable and honest. We're going to post their address in here. But here's what happened. We went there. We gave them our hundred dollars. And guess what they gave us? Go ahead, Smalls. Show them what's in the box. There's nothing but rocks in these boxes. Yeah. Do you see that? We didn't take the time to look in the boxes because we were, well, we trusted them. And we wanted to get back home because it was a long flight. And when we got here, this is what we found out. Now, we were excited about getting our go-karts going fast. We were excited about riding them. We were excited about our trip down there. And now all we've got is some box of rocks. And we're out $100. And we don't have our go-karts going fast. So, we want you guys to look in the address there. And we want you guys to maybe go down and talk to these guys and let them know. Hey, you can't do this to Hope Ollie and Smalls, man. We've always been good to everybody. We don't want anybody to do nothing to them or get hurt or anything. But we want everybody out there to know. Don't buy anything from these guys and don't have anything to do with these guys. Their address is down below. We want to thank everybody out there. We want everybody to keep on riding and having a good time, man. We'll see you soon. Awesome. Awesome, man. Awesome. Smalls. Get that posted as quick as you can, man. Let's get that out there in the internet world, man. Yeah, because somebody's going to see that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're out of luck on the go-karts. Suppose we ought to go back out and ride. What do you think? Heck yeah, man. Let's go ride. That was a long trip anyway. Where's Blue? Now, he's already down there grinding and stuff, man. Oh, I can hear him. Yep. Man, he just grinds away all the time, doesn't he? Yep, there he goes. Let's head down. Hey, I want to do a couple of these gaps, man. Check these out. I can hit these really good, man. Oh, yeah, and I can hit that other side just perfect. Whew. Man, it's a little scary when you point that front end down when you go down those things. Yeah, it is too. But it is so cool when you land it and it feels good like that. Oh, yeah, man, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hey, guys. Yeah, Smalls, what's up? Get over here, man. W what's going on, Betty? Uh... You guys are going to have to come over here and check this out, man. Get Blue, too. Hey, Blue, come on over here, man. When I'm grinding over here, guys. Come on over, man. What's going on, Smalls? Uh, we got a FaceTime here from somebody. <laughs> Is it them guys already who give us $100 or took our $100 and give us the dumb rocks? Let me talk to them, man. I want to talk. No. No, dude, it's not them. Uh, are you guys ready for this? Yeah, man, we're ready for this. What is it? Uh, hang on. Guys, listen, this call is paused. I'm going to unpause it. I don't want you to be shocked. Who is it, man? Who is it? What? What is it? Uh, 
It's a really big hawk. And he wants to talk to us. A hawk? Hawks are the scariest birds in the air around here, man. We know what they do. Yeah, they're hawks, man. They get everything. Dude, he's going to talk to us. Okay, man, go ahead and unpause this call. Just check it out. Hello, it's Opaline Smalls. Opaline Smalls. I'm the Nighthawk. Dude, pause, pause the phone, pause the phone, pause the phone, pause. Dude, it is a Nighthawk. It is a Nighthawk. And he's calling us. Dude, this is not good. This can't be good, man. Nighthawk is scary. I'm, can we please just go back inside? Throw your phone out in the woods, Small. Just throw it out there. No, man. We got to listen to what the dude's got to say, man, because he knows our number and everything. Okay. He get back on. Okay. Go. Uh, hello, Mr. Nighthawk. How is your day today? Uh, my day's very good, but something has come to my attention. My nephew, Itty Bitty Nighthawk, has come to me. And he has told me about a video that he has seen about some birds from Ohio that he likes to follow on YouTube. And apparently you have been scammed $100 for carburetors. Is this true? Yeah, man, this is true. Yeah, that's what happened. We flew all the way down there and everything. And, like, we even thought one time you were, like, going to get this, man, because we heard this one sparrow, and this sparrow was a really nice sparrow, man. He said he just had a bad floppy wing, and he makes it a weird sound when he flies. Yeah, I know that sparrow. Yeah, he's a good sparrow. You mean you're friends with sparrows? When friends with lots of sparrows and friends with lots of birds. Anyway, my nephew, Itty Bitty, I haven't talked to him for a while, but he told me about an ad that he had seen for talent sharpeners. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get my talent sharpened. I, I was, you know, because I'm a Nighthawk. And, and even though I'm the Itty Bitty Nighthawk, it's important to not keep my talent sharp just in case, you know, I've got to keep up my reputation down here. So, you know, everybody knows, you know, hey, that's a Nighthawk, don't mess with him. Well, so there were these talent sharpeners for, for $5 advertised. And I went and I went down there to Louisville and I got me one of them. And, and it was in a box. And when I got home, and, and it was a long way home. You know, here to Indiana, it was a long way home. And, uh, and there was just rocks in there. And he took my money. It's okay, Eddie Bitty. We're going to get this handled. Yeah, I just wanted sharp talents. And, and, okay, hold on in smalls. I know where these birds are at. Uh, I'm going to get your hundred dollars. Oh, dude, listen, don't sweat it, man. You know, you know what? We just put that out there so people would quit doing business with them because they're just ripping people off and not giving them anything. I understand, but when they took advantage of my nephew, he's just a very young bird, and he took advantage of you guys. And my nephew says that you guys do a lot of good things for a lot of birds. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to get your $100 back. Yeah, dude, no, no, don't hurt nobody. Don't do no violence or anything like that, man, you know. I will get your $100 back. Wow. I will call you once I have taken care of this business. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Nighthawk. Oh, dude. Oh, my God, what have we done? That was the night hawk. That was a night hawk. And he had the he had the little the little night hawk. Did you see the little night hawk? He's just a little dude. Yeah, I mean he's talking the way he sound. Hell like maybe he's just like a baby bird or something, you know? I just didn't think he sounded like a baby bird. I think he sounded like he was as old as me. I'm not a baby bird. No, Blue, you're not a baby bird, but you're a young bird. You can tell the night hawk is not a young bird at all. Why is he so big? Because hawks are really big, man. He is ten times bigger than us. Oh, he's bigger than ten times, man. Hawks are really big. <sighs> man, hawks are like, wow. Yeah, this is so crazy. Uh, man, should we maybe not put that video up? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Hopefully nothing happens. 
I mean, you know, those guys are no good and they're bad and all that stuff, but I don't want anybody to have to go fight or get hurt or anything like that. Yeah, that's not our style, man. We don't we don't roll like that. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I guess it just just goes to show you, man. Look at all the posts on the video anyway, man. There's like all kinds of people saying that these birds been ripping them off. Wow. These guys are like full-on internet scammers, man. Yeah, I told you when we were there, that was a little bit too weird for us. You know what? I hope we can get our $100 back. But lesson learned, man. Don't be buying stuff like that anymore. Like that on the internet. Because that's not good, man. Yeah, that's not good at all. The only especially people you don't trust. Gee, all we wanted was carburetors. Yeah. Well... Let's go back out and ride around. Well, no, we got some things we got to go get done in the house first. Let's go do those. And then maybe later this afternoon, we'll come back out and ride. Okay, sounds good. All right, guys, let's get some of these chores taken care of. What's our chores anyway? Uh, And we got to pick these seeds up around here. There's just too dang many seeds on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're messy with the seeds, that's for sure. And look at all the feathers. How come we lose so many feathers? I don't have any idea. It's just what parakeets do. Are we parakeets or are we budgies? I don't know. I don't like being a budgie. But when you say budgie, I sound like a, sound like a big, giant, fat parakeet. Well, sometimes we are pretty big and fat. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll be back later, man. We're going to get some of these chores done in here. All right, guys. All right, dude. You know... That's pretty cool. It's afternoon now. Let's head back outside, okay? All right. Let's go do some riding around. Yeah. This park is so cool. Yeah, this is nice out here. Hey, old Pony Smalls. Yes, Sparrows, what's up, man? Uh, would you please come up here to the building, please? Uh, there's a situation happening up here, and we need you right now. Dude, what do you think's wrong? I don't know, man, but let's get up there. Okay, what's going what's going on? Holy smoke. Dudes. Hello, Hope Ali and Smalls. Dude, it's a night hawk. He's in our building. Oh my god, it's gonna be over with in no time. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. What have you heard? Uh, we've heard all kinds of tales about how you're going to swoop down and get us out of the air and everything. And, and, and yeah, and you're going to peck our eyeballs out. We don't peck eyeballs out of anybody. And we definitely don't swoop down and get little green birds out of the sky. Oh. I have your hundred dollars. What? You got it? Oh, yes. I went. I knew exactly where those birds were. I dealt with them appropriately. Oh, well, dude, you didn't, like, do some damage or something. No. I just told them. They had two choices. Give me the $105. The $5 goes to my, my little nephew here. Hey, old bunnies, moms. How are you guys? Uh, hello, little itty-bitty nighthawk. Um, uh, and I gave them the choice. Give me the money, and I'll leave in peace. And if they don't pay the money, I'm going to make sure that every day that they take off flying, they have to look behind them, because I'm going to be right there. Dude, and they gave you... This is our hundred bucks, guys. Check it out. Whoa, Mr. Nighthawk, awesome. Dude, this is so cool, man. The only thing I ask is that you don't post on YouTube that I did this. Because, well, we do have a reputation to keep up. And it does help the Nighthawks out a little bit, keeping everybody a little bit afraid of us. Oh, no, man, definitely. We won't tell a soul. I do have one thing to ask. My nephew here, Itty Bitty, he wants to learn how to ride a scooter. Oh, <laughs> Cool, man. Smalls. Smalls is the man. 
Smalls can teach him how to ride a scooter. Yeah, it's exactly what I want to do. Because I'm always watching Smalls, man. I watch Smalls' YouTube channel all the time. That's how I saw you guys take the video. And I want to learn how to ride a scooter. Do you guys got a scooter that I can ride? Dude, not only do we have a scooter you can ride, we were gonna, we're gonna give you a scooter, man, and you can take it back with you. You guys in a hurry to get back to Indiana? No, no, we're gonna stay right here, man, and we're gonna do this thing. Dude, we got a post on YouTube that, you know, we got some help from a pretty cool bird from Indiana who helped us get our money back. Yeah, I don't think those guys will be scamming anybody for a little while. I think I scared them pretty darn good. Oh, this is so cool. Come on, itty bitty. Pick out a scooter, man. Pick one you like, dear. And we're going to go outside and we'll show you how to kind of do the basics and stuff, man. Awesome. I think I want that one right there. I think I want that one that's got like the brown wheels on it and the, and the black board. Yeah, I, I kind of like that one like, right, right, right there, man. Dude, we can have the sparrows kind of do a little bit of paintwork on there and put some feathers on there for you too, man. Kind of like the Nighthawk edition, man. You would name me Scooter after me? Heck yeah, man, you're a Nighthawk. Dude, that makes you about as cool as it comes. Awesome, dude. Well, come on. Let's grab a scooter. Let's head outside. Let's do some things. All right, man. Hey, we will talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great time. Sleep good. We'll see you next time. Bye.